Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anitia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The parliamentary representative for Grosley, Honorable Leonard Montout, has donated school supplies to the public elementary schools in District 2. The annual initiative, which commenced in 2007, included a donation of 60 tablets, 10,000 notebooks, school bags, lunch kits and other school supplies. Honorable Montout expressed hope that the donation will ease the burden on parents who are currently preparing for their children to return to school. Honorable Montout also noted that the current secondary school will also be receiving a quota of notebooks. The handing over ceremony of the donation of school supplies took place on Thursday, August 13, 2020 at the Grosley Human Resource Development Center. Caribcation's latest marketing brand, Bubblecation, allows travelers from countries within the designated travel bubble to reconnect with family and friends or enjoy a getaway in St. Lucia. In ensuring that St. Lucia remains a safe destination in the response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the travel bubble has been further revised from the August 7th update. Jereen George's public relations manager of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority noted that five countries have been removed from the travel bubble, including the Bahamas, Jamaica, Aruba, St. Martin and Bermuda. The public relations manager explained that the health and safety of citizens and local communities remain paramount. For more information on the bubblecation, individuals can log on to www.caribcation.org or call 458-7101. Phase 1 of the reopening of the tourism sector has been extended to September 30, 2020 due to the risk associated with this phase. The Ministries of Tourism and Health and Wellness are working collaboratively to ensure strict health and safety measures exist and are followed. Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Honorable Dominic Fede, indicated that while the first phase has been extended, the Ministry of Tourism is exploring options to add more attractions and restaurants, to name a few. He explained its importance so as to ensure that individuals are able to gain an income to be able to provide for their families. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Donalyn Vite, highlighted considerations for Phase 2 encompass the inclusion of dive as an activity, reopening of other sites and attractions once COVID-19 certified for operation, and reopening villas and Airbnb properties to international jurisdictions. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.